Hello and welcome to my online workshop. This is my third study with me video, and for the people who don't know me, I am a Korean middle school student who lives on Jeju Island, which is a very beautiful place to live. And this is my breakfast, a bowl of cereal with a little bit of nuts. Right now, I am searching for music I'm going to listen to while reading. Then I begin to read a philosophy book. The title is I Am In Love Today As Well by Michelle Push. I think that's how we pronounce that name anyway. And I'll put it in the description box below, so if you're interested, you can just have a look at it. And because I was reading Korean translation version, I translated the title into English by myself. Well, the original book was in French and also I couldn't find any English translation version, but the original book seemed to be entitled as Amor, but I'm not really sure because I am not a French learner and I don't know even how to speak French. I'm going to upload a video about this book, so I'll just briefly explain what this book is about. Like the title, as you can guess, this book is explaining and answering what is love exactly, what is true love, what happens when we love each other, and some other love-related questions. I read this book about an hour having breakfast, and I think it was about 8 a.m. on Saturday morning. After reading, I began to study math. Oh. Math is a very tricky subject to define whether or not I like it. It is sometimes very annoying with such complex questions, but sometimes it is very interesting to solve mysterious questions. Because I am Korean, I am solving Korean math problem book, and this math book is for high school students, but because our school math syllabus contains some of Korean high school math topics, I had to preview those topics here.
And by the way, I am studying functions right now. It wasn't one of my favorite math topics because it was very difficult, but now I love this topic. Well, first of all, I like quadratics and linear functions. They are my favorites. But for the high school math functions, it is a bit different. Well, it still contains quadratics and linear functions that we have to apply to the questions, but it also contains some other topics like rational functions and some other sort of wiggly looking graphs. And I found it as a very complex topic, but now I find it very interesting to learn. And I think it's because now I am really enjoying drawing the functions on the quadrants. I'm writing down my workings on scrap papers and then copy the answers back to my book. Then after solving questions in certain sections, I begin to mark them. And I find this method very efficient because I can make corrections to my mistakes right away so I can remember them and somehow it reduces the time it takes for me to mark all of the questions once and correct them. Thank you for watching my video and don't forget to press likes if you enjoyed this video and click the subscribe button if you want more study with me or probably read or draw with me videos. Bye!